Hi, I'm Clara Galtney with the Painted Sisters. Um, I'm coming to you today to show you how I paint furniture and, and what to do if you have a project you want to do and you don't have any idea how to get started. The desk that I have behind me, I bought at an auction. It's a smaller, kind of childlike desk. Um, and we're going to be painting it today with Debbie's Design Diary paint in one of her brand new colors called Aviary. I'm going to be using a paint pixie brush. And we'll start, I want to start by telling you what I do the very first thing with a, a piece of furniture if I get it. And I'm going to take it and clean it all good, usually just using Dawn soap and, and water. Let it dry good, and then you're ready to go. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to start on the front part of this dresser and let you see just exactly how I paint. There's lots of different ways to paint. No right way, no necessarily wrong way. But I leave the drawers in to start out with. Um, that way I go back and I'll pull the drawers out and then touch go around the sides. But that way you can see right around here this corner what you're gonna what's gonna show, what's not gonna show, how much you're gonna need to go inside and paint, or whether you can just leave it alone like that. This is one of Debbie's new colors. It was it's supposed to be close to a farmhouse. A farmhouse green and as you can see I am just liberally putting the paint on and then I'm going to go back and try to just straighten out so it's called laying off your paint so that you just have nice smooth smooth surface it's going to take two coats of paint to cover this uh, normally, I usually will do two coats of paint. This paint is so easy. There's no prep. There's nothing you have to do other than make sure your piece is clean. You literally just put it on and paint. It dries very quickly. Um, and as hot as it is today, oh, it's some green paint over me. As hot as it is today here, it's not going to take long. As you can see, it goes on very quickly. It doesn't take you very long to paint a project. I tend to like to let... Um, this first coat dry for several hours before starting to do a second coat, sometimes even overnight. The paint is clay based with no VOCs, no harmful products in it at all. So it's very, very safe to use. It will, though, once it has dried, until it cures out, it will reactivate when you start the second coat on it. So you have to be a little bit careful to go, to, for your brush strokes to be very easy. And it activates the first coat and it will pull it up just a little bit. But usually, if you let it dry good, you won't have any problems. hard to paint sideways. I'm not used to. And I will, um, I think that I will wax this piece and I may distress some. This paint distresses just beautifully. You can either take a warm, not a warm rag, but a rag with a little bit of water on it. And just lightly touch around. I'll try to show you how to do that too at some point. As you can see, there's some places that are it's still light, you can still see the wood grain through, but we won't worry about that because you will, we'll get that on the second coat. You 
brushes are, they're by Paint Pixie. They're like tiny little mops. They hold a lot of paint. We sell those at our, at both the booth in Cary and the booth in Abingdon. We don't have those online yet. But you can find all of our, all of the paint, all of the Iron Orchid design products online. Like I said, I will go back and pull the drawers out and get all around the edges. But this allows you to see what right around in here is going to show. Sometimes it shows. Occasionally when you're painting with uh, paint this type of paint, you'll have what we call bleed through. And bleed through is where something is on the wood. Um, it could be something that was spilled on it years ago. It could be furniture polish that's built up. But when the paint dries, you'll see like little tiny spots come through, or sometimes it's a big spot. Um, the way to handle that is we use a product called Shellac. It's by Zinder. You can either brush it on or spray it on the spot. And usually that will take care of the spot till you won't, it won't come back through again. Sometimes it takes a couple of applications of it, but for the most part, one generally does it. You'll notice as this paint starts drying that it, it lightens up. It's like the clay, you'll see spot, like, like right over there on, the, on that side where it's drying. But you don't, that's good. And when you wax or put a top coat on it, this original color will come close back to what it was. Okay, so that showed you how quick it was to get that much of it painted. I will actually stop the video and finish painting the sides and the top. And then when it dries and I'm ready to come back and put the second coat on, I will record again so you can see what the second coat, the second coat looks like.